you've been really lucky recently. Uh, okay. Okay, so we. So now it's an empty box, right? Fuck. We need to. Do you know what? We need to get these fucking boxes. As you do my fucking head in. They are actually doing my goddamn head in. <laughs> they really are. Oh look, Kevin's about. Sweet! Oh my god, thank you for noticing there. Before you win. Yeah! I'm vote for you, H.E. right now. Actually, I can't vote for you right now. So I'm yeah, yeah, but, but yeah, I appreciate it. Um, Fed up Kevin then. Why do we always do this? Why are we why are we actually so dumb? Yo yo, what's up there? Hey what's up Mr. Ram? Are you available or are you busy oh, today? Yeah. Nope, I'm available. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'll um I'll start heading up that direction. Okay, cool, cool. See you there. Okay, no problem, dude. See you then. Later. Yeah! It's our third and final lesson, bitch! Wait, is that... Hang on, hang on. Let me have a look. So... Uh, yeah, we can get up to... I'll just turn this way. That is an obnoxious fucking contender, dude. That's so obnoxious. <laughs> I wish there was like a, a way of like entering the freeway here. I really do. Oh, I haven't got that food, which is unlike me. Fucking dick fucks. Oh no! Fuck that cunt, that go. The thing is, is whatever, like, so, the the sheriff, right, the sheriff election, like, sheriff's are an elected position, right, IRL, so it should be, like, something that, 
like the civilians vote on. However, I understand why they don't, especially in RP, because you know the vast majority of civs, you know, have sort of like you know there are as a the population is is disproportionately weighted towards criminals, right? Like, there's more criminals than there are, like, I think, if, I feel like in ratio, there, there's more crims than there are civs, right? Like, ratio-wise. Or at least it's, it's definitely weighted, you know, in that respect as far as RP goes, right? So, like, that, like, that makes sense. Um, the chief, the whole chief thing, like, that, you know, that should be an appointed position by... The mayor, really, like, you know, like chief of police should be appointed. Like, and I, again, I understand they don't do that because, you know, we're specifically looking for RP, right? But I, I genuinely feel that, you know, it might be better for, <clears throat> you know, obviously we're gonna get a mayoral a mayoral election soon. Right, so I feel like we are going to we're going to vote there, and we're going to we're going to listen to all of the stuff that, that has to be said, like all of the like the debates. We definitely we want to definitely want to attend the debates if we can. If not, we will absolutely watch them, um, because we want to find out like who is the best who is the best candidate for Sexton. Like, right now, the only person that we really are aware of that's running is Abdul. So, like, for our vote, Abdul wins by default. It's like a, de a default thing, because he's the only person that we know that's running. But, you know, I, I'm really hoping that some of the other candidates are going to have a, a, a more... For fuck's sake, what is wrong with you? You're an idiot. Fucking penumbras, pieces of shit, dude. It's not Officer Pred, it's Sheriff Pred. Again, we don't know this in character. Okay, that's the same spot that was yesterday. That's weird. Oh shit, we were speeding. Oh damn. That's unfortunate. When we can fly, or once we get our license, Sakes. God damn shitter, man. Now we're we're RPing it. We're we're driving on this road because 
You know, we don't drive on the, the fucking thing. It's... This is technically private property. Like, Erex owns the whole thing, from what I understand. Again, that's stuff that I know like, out of character. I don't know anything. You know, I probably should have, like, asked. And to be fair, I probably should ask, actually. Let me put out a fucking... Oh, is there, a, is there a bin here? I need a bin. I need a bin. I'm curious, actually. Is there a... See how, how, rich, how poor am I right now? How much money do I have? 16. Why would I get 16 grand? Fuck me, baby. No, phone. Is there any. Be a dumb question. Any trash cans? Dumpsters. A bunch of shit on me that I need to. It's a rubbish. Do they not have? I'm just go back to our fucking van and show me. Fuck! What a dumb question. It's a fucking military base. Doesn't it have any goddamn. Not even like a recycle bin, for fuck's sake. Do you know what? That's actually something you should, could do. Could actually that that could work. Ooh. That was good there. Did we not? Boom. There we go, we got it. We could probably listen to some music though, right? But no, we're not gonna. We're not gonna. I am disappointed that there's like not a... Okay, so let's get out my notepad. Notepad plus plus, where we have written down our thing. So that'll be day three in training. And in here, we also need to write um, yellow pages. And that'd be. That's probably fine, just Eric's student. Alright, and then we'll need to, to come up with a fucking. Wah wah. Maybe I shouldn't dance on that. I don't fucking know. Maybe it's cancelled. 
I'm very disappointed. I fu Jedi, this is the thing I fucking hate about people. So right now we are looking at let's not just look at the old Twitter twatters. Are you back, here he is. Probably not. Probably not. There he is, the fucking lunged. That's a little bit hard on the the, the come down, right? That's How you doing, Mr. Ram? Oh wait, it's, I didn't do my thing, did I? Okay, can you hear me now? Hello? I am doing great today, sir. How are Wicked. Ah, uh, no, do you know what? I'm doing... Or actually, I do have a, com a minor, a minor complaint. What's up? Um, right now, I have a bunch of crap, and... I can't fi find a single dumpster or recycling bin for these murder meal boxes. Like, I can't seem to find anyone or, like, any bins around here. Uh, well, if you find a bush, just drop it in. I won't tell anybody if you don't. Well, I mean, I, I want to be responsible with my, my rubbish, you know. I don't want to litter, obviously, and, you know, I, you know if I could find... Uh, obviously, a, a recycling receptacle would obviously be more preferable because... You know, even though I'm not a you know a tree hugging hippie, you know I I care enough about the earth to you know you know not be a cunt towards it. You know. Fair enough. One second. Let me make sure you have your uh, things set up. I don't. I don't think I do currently. Last time I checked. No, not yet. That's fine. Me with your state ID one more time. Twelve two two five. Do you have it? Yep, just populated. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna start at uh, the actual flight should start around two forty five, that's what I have you on the calendar for. And Wicked, the, uh, that's fine. The actual quiz and stuff now. Uh, let me just move this helicopter to the uh, other helipad so it doesn't uh, find an easy way to get there.
There's some minor, uh, some minor dings on the uh, aircraft. I'm just gonna take it to the Benny's real quick and get it sorted. Um, okay, that's fine. Yeah, no, I, I got you, dude. I got it. There go. We're literally keeping an eye on it. I know this isn't what you meant, but I thought it'd be funny. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, this is the one way to do it. Yeah, pretty much. It disappears on camera, then I got a case in my hand. That's true. Alright, we can start the, uh, the test. Okay. This is going to be your final uh, your final day of flight school. Um, if you pass and everything goes well, you'll uh, have your name put on the list. And once your name is on the list, uh, you can go to a judge and get a flight license. Okay. Um, all right, so let's just run through it. What is a uh, pitch? How do you do it? So uh, pitch is basically where you um, you, you, you pitch the, those of the aircraft either up or down. Um, if you pitch it down, then obviously you're going to... Uh, gain forward momentum but lose altitude if you pitch it upwards then you're gonna lose momentum and you're gonna gain a little bit of altitude okay. uh, you don't necessarily um, even if you pitch down you could still be uh, climbing vertically yeah that you but like just just pitching the nose down with no other inputs yeah correct. okay what is uh roll and how do you do it a, so a roll is basically where you use your, your you know, the, the big left stick and you're sort of like, it's basically you're rolling the aircraft on its, so imagine an invisible line goes from the nose of the helicopter through to tail, you're basically rotating it on that, or like across the axes, so it'd be like either to the left or to the right. Okay, what is yaw? How do you do it? Uh, yours, um, if, again, if you imagine a the axis, like a, a line that goes from like the the bottom of the aircraft to the top of the aircraft and you're basically rotating it um around that that pole so you could do like you know any sort of um degree rotation you wanted whether it be a 90 180 360 or any combination of you know degrees you could possibly think of okay what is a flare and when do you typically flare so a flare was basically when you would um pitch the nose of the aircraft up and um, you would do it sort of to sort of bleed momentum to either come in for a landing at a you know a safe responsible speed or if you wanted to you know you envision that you needed to turn you know um you know do a sort of a quick turn maybe if you were um you know like there's not gonna be a, an obstacle that you need to quickly grind but if you were say maybe you know a police a police pilot then that would be necessary to do you know to follow and a vehicle maybe you might be chasing but it right. yeah it's it's basically just a sort of loose speed but it, mo most commonly for civilian pilots it'd be to um 
you know, coming for a landing. Yep. Okay, what are the places that you cannot fly onto or over? Um, so you, you can't fly over the prison, which is obviously not on my list, but it should be. Um, obviously, you know, that is obvious why, why you can't do that. It's bad. Uh, you can't fly or land in the prison, the power plant, the aircraft carrier, which I'm never interested in even seeing, uh, pillbox medical, um, or any of the police stations, um, which would be classed as government property. Where are the places that you can refuel? Um, here, um, Los Santos International Airport and the Higgins place um, by Vespucci Canals. And one more. Um, oh, Sandy Shores. I forgot Sandy. Yep. Rip, yeah. There you go. Okay, um, where can you repair? Um, here in LSIA, um, in the big hangar at the um trying to like the map would be the southwest hangar southwestmost hangar um in lsia yep. yep i went there last night it was being a little weird but theoretically there's one there also um here in lsia are also the the places that you can rent aircraft if one had a license it would allow them to fly said aircraft Oh yeah, LSA. I don't think there's a rental here. Is that as or not? Okay, but that's, that's no, fine enough. No, it's just LSA. Okay. Um. Sure is what is the first thing you do before you take off? First thing you do would be a, a, a visual inspection. Once you've sat in the aircraft, you would do a three one one um, informing you know dispatch that you know you and your call sign are going to be you know in the air. Um, you know, obviously I've been taught to give them a rough estimation about how long you're going to be, you know, in the air for, but obviously I imagine that is um, circumstantial depending on, you know, whatever circumstances you're, you're yeah. going through. I think uh, for the flight school, it's good to say like an estimate of time. Um, I think if, let's say, air transport becomes more common in the city, whether with people or with packages potentially, then routes might be more... Detailing the route might be a more effective way to communicate information to the police department and air traffic control. Um, you, you missed one thing uh, before you take off. Um. You did the visual inspection and you threw in one, but there's one thing you forgot to do. Shit. I don't know, shit. It's part of the uh, visual inspection process. Oh, you make sure it's got fuel. It's my, yeah. There you go. Alright, uh, after you're in the air and once you land, what's the first thing you do? Uh, first thing you do is, um, 3 one let them know that you're no longer in the air. Well, actually, the first thing would be to, to, well, no, it'd probably be that and then turn the engine off, I would guess. Although those yeah, yeah, yeah. seem yeah. interchangeable. Yeah, more or less interchangeable. You know, the engine goes off, you know, as soon as you touch down and then you turn the water. Yeah, because fuel's expensive, yeah. Yep, yep, exactly. All right, we have, I'm gonna say four more minutes, and then we can begin the, uh, the other part of this examination. Um, essentially what you're going to be doing is flying around the island. Um, I'd probably like you to go to the top of Maze Bank, and then pick one other location of your choice, uh, and then fuel, and then we come back. Um, a location of my choice, is it um, like a building, or does it really not matter? Uh, you can go to it. As long as it's somewhere that's reasonable, um, like a place that makes sense for you to fly an aircraft, so um, nothing too crazy. Uh, like don't land on, uh, I don't know, fucking cage or something. Or a bridge, don't land on a bridge. Um, no, I'm not going to be stupid. In the middle of a road, yeah. Just, uh, you know, wherever you want to go, it's your time to fly. It's 15, okay, 10, okay. 15 minutes. Also, throw you like 200 bucks. Pick the gas for a second here, and then yeah, you know, just fly. Um, you can take a picture of yourself at Lee's Bank, uh, send it to me, and then take a picture of yourself at the second location, send it to me. And then when you come back, um, I'm gonna make sure that everything is done correctly with the three and one, and then it'll yeah, be the end of the class. Um, I need to dip out and go get some cash then, so because I only got 33 bucks on me. I'll, I'll hand you money. Oh, okay, okay, that's. 
theoretically reimburse us. I gotta figure out how to fill out those forms, but they'll reimburse me eventually, so. Okay, so and I assume the three one would be Eric student take off from Fort Z for day three training, um, in flight for approximately fifteen minutes. Yep. In the, in the and num numbering yellow pages, yeah. Yep, and your numbers in the yellow pages. Yeah, it, it, well, it, not yet. It will be. Okay. And then the, my ad will be Eric student, right? As I remember. Yep. yep. Look at this. Let's get on that now. The same way you're gonna format that text in uh, the three one is the same way you wanna format it in the uh, three one. I'm sorry, in the other pages. Oh, so you basically want to copy, okay. Except you don't want to put the, the number in yellow pages while you're in the yellow pages ad. Obviously that'd be done. Copy. Add. Control V. 15. 15. Okay, so the um, the yellow pages ad is in. The only thing that's not in there is the the number in yellow pages because that'd be weird. Yeah, yeah. let me just look at your ad so I can do. Okay, so you don't have to put the whole three on. You could just put a uh, Eric's to it. Oh, I I thought that you you told me. I thought no, that's no, what you so, said. Yeah, yeah, that's my bad. When I when I said format it the way you would put it in three or one, I meant like um format the call sign. So if you're going to do ARX student, uh, ARX space student, uh, do it that way there in the L pages as well as in the 301. Oh, okay. That, that's fine. I, I got a little bit confused. That's fine. It can stay like that for now. It's fine. Got the old copy past already so far. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to move that black helicopter in the event that you don't actually have your license to. So you don't blow up the rent. I'm not gonna blow the fucking rent with that dude. Jesus Christ, he's fucking paranoid. Okay, so that. Boom. Copy. Close that down. Here we go. He has zero faith in me, dude. Zero fucking faith whatsoever. Uh, where do we wanna fly? So obviously, we're gonna get an Maze Bank. I think. Ooh, ooh. Quarry is a nice place. I think a quarry and then back here, right? Go ahead and step over here. I'll give you the keys. So Maze Bank. Okay, that's yes, fine. So Maze Bank selfie. Maze Bank roof selfie. Send it to you. Other location selfie. Send to you and then come back. Yeah, is that is that what we're doing? Uh, get fuel somewhere along the way. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fine. I I know the perfect spot for fuel, based on my flight path. Okay. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, uh, shit. Um, 182? Alright, so that should be enough to uh, refuel at your location when you land or when you come back, and then you'll, get, you'll have enough to refuel as soon as you touch down. Um, it's a good habit when you're operating aircraft, uh, I guess with the exception of rental. Uh, to just refuel before it's put away. Okay, okay. okay. So, um, the keys, it has been the correct amount of time. Go ahead and if your test begins now, and uh, I'm not going to say anything. And okay. Do your thing. Control V. Okay, three one put in. Spool an aircraft up. This is so beautiful, chat. So beautiful. Oh. We're gonna send the. We're gonna send selfies to. 
We're gonna send the picture to fucking thingy as well. You we definitely can send the picture. We we know yeah we're gonna we'll send it to Ronnie as well. Get my phone out. Let's go. Oh, fuck off a sec. I, that's it. Oh, oh god damn game capture. It's right there. Oh, Copy. No. I said while we're here, we'll send a message to. Could you? Ah, oh, so annoying. Uh, Ronnie. Boom, control V, easy. I'm such a sexy motherfucker. Yes, here we go. Click, click, click. Seatbelt. Oh, <gasps> I got a oh, no, 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 it's not a great day. Actually, no, that's a that's a shit spot. Again, let's put my phone. No, that's not where phone. When you go, 
There we go. And copy. Boom. Back of the thing. P. The boom. 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 System check. Default locations. Perfect. Turn the engine off. Here we go. Boom flower. And the, the, the fuel costs 76 bucks. Uh, did you do everything? Are you done? Um, yeah, I, I sent you I sent you the text messages. Alright, you just landed. Yeah, I, I did just land, yeah. But yeah, I, I sent you the two selfies. I, I, I don't think they were my best ones because, you know, I'm not a 13-year-old girl. But, you know, I did my best. Are you sure there's nothing else you need to do? Oh shit, now you're right. No, 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 you're right, you're right. Control 
V. Hello, Sarah 21. This is Eric's student. It's touched down back in Fort San Kudos. Spooled down. Lesson is completed. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, I, I fucked that out of my bed. Go ahead and put the gas in the bird and we'll do it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I, I feel like there's there's plenty of um, potential for me to, you know, to fly around in the future. It, it's fine. But yeah, fuel cost exactly a hundred bucks with the the air um, the fill up in Sandy and then obviously the one here. He's doing paper. We know he's doing paper. How did I forget? This is a nice. It's a nice selfie. All right. Um. When you're actually up there, you cannot get to turn one once you land. Yeah. No. Okay. You know. You're right. That's. Um. I'll let it slide this time, but um, it cannot happen. Okay. No. No. You're completely right. Being said, you've essentially passed, so congratulations. Um, Thank you. Yeah, um, so, um, how long is it? How long is the list gonna take to update before I can go speak to a judge? Uh, I'm gonna put it in uh, the work email thread here and have them take care of it as soon as they're around. Um, by the looks of it, there's literally no one else uh, who works at Ericsson City, as far as I'm aware. What the? Also, can you take down your LPG? Yeah, no, you're right. Ab yeah, I can, I can, absolutely can. Okay, I'm gonna have to jot that down and remind myself. Yeah, like it, it time it, like in the future, it'll just become muscle memory. But yeah, um, no, you're right. It is abs it'll absolutely become muscle memory. Um, but for the record, uh, you could theoretically just fail the test if you don't do it. Okay, okay. Not really. Like you, you're a competent pilot. Do yourself on this guy, so I'm not gonna have to uh, make any sense. Um, but you have to be, you have to have a certain level of mindfulness that most people in the city don't have when you're up there, just because of the responsibility you have you know, with yourself, with your passengers, with all the people, and, yeah, you know, underneath you. It's, it's also a potential weapon of mass destruction if, um, you know, yep. incorrectly utilized. I, I completely understand. Yep, yep. yep but, um, yeah, that's essentially it. Let me get your data one more time. It's one twelve. It's uh, twelve two two five. It's just my celebration dance. Actually, I think I saw it. Said. One two 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 five. You're <laughs> such a dumbass. Ah, oh, dude. Um, S E X T O N. First name Gary G A R Y. Yes, G A R Y. I will put this in the thread, and you'll essentially be good to go. Um, what can happen is if the judge is around, you can have them call me, and then we can verify. But uh, you know, they might not. Uh... Should I wait a couple of days just to be on the safe side? Um, I mean, you can if you want to. Uh, you have the temporary license. Um, you've essentially passed, but because the judge hasn't uh, issued you a permanent license, I wouldn't. I yeah, no, I I definitely wouldn't. I might go down and see if there's any judge down there now, but I'm not holding my breath, so I'll just you know go off and do my my news thing, you know. Oh yeah. 
And uh, also, if you ever end up working for uh, Ron and Elspian, they have a, uh, a helicopter there as well. But I don't know what the rules are for flying on that. Yeah, I'm I'm probably just going to keep it independent just because. I don't. I don't know. Actually, maybe. Maybe I do need to do that. I like. I need to go get. I. I need. You. Know, I need to get some references so that I can eventually join the police force. Because like that's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. really yeah. what I want to do. But. Yeah. You know, I. I kind of like the whole independent thing, but that's that's probably not going to work out. Maybe I just need to find an officer and see if ride alongs are a fucking thing here. Who the fuck knows? Yeah, I think they are. Uh, I have a friend who's trying to join the PD as well. And you'll just casually meet a bunch of people trying to do it. It's all the the same kind of thing, you know. Show up, do yeah. the ride along, do the academy when it's available. But you have to kind of be on top of all of that stuff. Yeah, I just I just right. need to find an officer, but I never do that because I, you know, I drive like an old lady, you know. So I never get pulled uh, over. You can just I think you literally just walk into MRPD. Yeah, the the, the the dispatch people they they've told me that. You know, if I if I just show up and speak to the wrong person, I could get permanently blacklisted. So, oh, yeah, appa apparently that's a thing. Did they tell you that? Hey, who told you that? Um, I don't know. Some some dude on the the front desk. He was like, you know, like because I, I so I went down and like asked about it, and he's like, I could give you the form, but you're gonna need some references. You know, and without that, you, you know, we can't literally go any further. And the references are a huge issue because, like I said, you know. Like, I'm not a social butterfly, okay? Like, yep. I can interact with you now because, you know, we've sort of built out a rapport, but I'm not just going to barge into, like, a group of people's conversation, you know, and try to, like, forcefully insert myself. That's just not my style. So, like, I, I kind of have to let things sort of happen organically. Um, so it's it's difficult for me to sort of make the connections that I'm, I'm going to need. Um, but yeah, so I went down and sort of tried to clarify and he's like, you know, if you, you know, if you come down here and you, you speak to the wrong person, you can actually get permanently blacklisted, at which point I just completely ran out of the, the PD blade. Nah, peace out, dude! So, it, it's, it's gonna be a challenge, but you know, it's like, I knew it wasn't gonna happen overnight, like, that's the thing that I knew. Um, even though I do have like 10 years experience, you know, you just, you just have to work at some of these things, you know? Yeah, I got you. KD is going to be a lot of barging into people's conversations though, so be prepared if you do get in. Like, so that's, like, that's the thing is I've, I've done it and that's fine because that's a, it's like a structured interaction, you know, like a traffic stop, you know, you know, you see the violation or whatever, you walk up, hello sir, this is, you know, introduce yourself, you've been idea why I've pulled you over today. The usual answer is no officer, which part, at which point you could be like, well then maybe you shouldn't have a license because clearly you don't know the rules of the road. They say that because they're being a smart ass and I can be equally smart ass back, obviously. Um, you know, or sometimes they'll say, yeah, I was speeding, whatever. And then, you know, you just go through, can I have a license, registration, proof of insurance. Let me run this through the system. Okay, you're fine. Here's your fine or here's your warning, whatever. And that's, you know, when I get back to my cruiser, turn the lights off, you're free to go. That's, it's a very structured interaction, you know? So, like, that's why I like traffic stops the most. It's, like, my most favorite part of being a police officer. But, like, any interaction with, within the police, it's, you know, you're, you're usually abiding by a structured um, list of rules, the SOPs. And they're very clear on what to do in situations. So, again, every interaction, even though everything's different... Like, the basic flow of any interaction is always the same. Yep. Yeah. Well, hell yeah. Uh, I'm going to figure out who I want to send this uh, verification thing to, uh, and or I'm just going to post it for just anybody in the company to take care of. Um, once that's done, I'll uh, send you a text to make sure that you're on the list, and then you can go to the judge from there. Perfect. No problem, dude. Thank you very much. It's been yeah, no an honor and privilege there, Mr. Ram. Back at you, guys. Uh, yeah, if you ever need a uh, feature training or you ever want to do anything, you'll be okay. I, I definitely will. Like, I'm, I'm definitely going to look at the um, the fixed wing stuff when I when I got the next lot of money. Cause I think I'm on. Well, I'll be on about 10k if the license is like, what's it? You said 4k, right? Or something like that for the the, the actual pilot's license. Yeah, I'll, I'll be on about 12k. So. I'm not too far away from. Well, I am quite a way away, but still, whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, you do 
making money to live, do stuff. You know, fixed wing uh, course, course isn't going anywhere. You know, it'll be exactly, cool. exactly. Peace, dude, and good luck with your business, bro. Thank you, sir. You May you make all of the fucking monies. That'd be nice, dude. Sorry. So we sent Ronnie a picture. We sent we we specifically sent Ronnie. This is this is great. This is specifically the picture we sent Ronnie. Boom. She made so happy for us. Okay, so now we need to go back to into the city. I'm not, for fuck's sake, you motherfucker. I forgot to ask about the driving on the airfield. I probably should have done that. We all trained, bruv. I'm so happy. Yeah, baby! It's your... <laughs> fuck me, dudes. That's funny. Ah, oh, fuck off, dude. I mean, it's a CR-92. A CR like, I really worry. Why is it... Why are you taking asteroid damage, bro? Fuck. Oh my god, for fuck's sakes. Why? Why? Okay, that that's fine. There's like not a lot you can do about that. It's me descending. Oh, actually, that's not actually. That's important. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Combine, please. Sorry, I, I need to. There's shit that I need to fucking attend to right now. I do apologize. Oh, come on, webpage, you bastard. Continue now. Should be me done, right? Yeah, okay. So now we're gonna go room, board exit, uh, board into that. Let's go into the hangar bay because that's where it should be. Oh, docking bay. What a fucking dick fuck. That should be my ship, yeah. Board that. Now I'd like to travel and dock. Okay, and then I'd like you to travel travel there. That's going to be about a minute. That's fine. We've got time. And then we can start making our way back. It's going to beep again in like 40 seconds, though. I do apologize. So 
So by 311, I'm going to add. That's very, that's the most important thing that I need to do. Chat. See, this is weird because it's like 10 seconds and then it'll finish and then it'll be like continue in like another 15 fucking seconds. Three, two, one, a go. Oh, we're, we're here. Fuck. Okay. Okay. I'd like to squadron up at the party. Perfect. I'd like to room travel. No, I want to ship squadron. I want to go travel planner. I apologize deeply for this. Boomer sound zero 09. Plot destination set. Cool. Okay. And now. We don't have to worry about that for fucking two hours. Sorry very much. Sorry, chat. Okay, so that's the next two hours of my game. So yeah, I'm playing like so. I'm playing another role-playing game while I'm doing this, but it's a web-based one that I've been playing on off for about fifteen fucking years. It's set in the Star Wars universe. And I just, I've not really been had much to do. Like the last sort of few months, I've been really busy with it. Um, I've had to grab a load of like RMs, raw materials from different stations. Basically, pillaged my entire faction of raw materials that we had, um, and then basically transported them to a, a central location so that. One of my other faction mates can basically just do insane building shit. Like, it's fucking insane, to, like, the speed this man can work at. Um, so I've been doing that, but that, like, that finished a couple of weeks ago. And while I'm away in my next sort of task, I've decided to go pick up my... Actually, I'm still owed fucking RMs. Fuck. Shit. I I mean, okay, there's there's no shipyard to to use. I want my ardent. I wanna start building my ardent. Which I, I was thinking about just flipping. But we'll we'll probably not. We'll probably we'll probably keep it for a few years. We might flip it later, but it is I think it's the ship that we're probably going to keep if they ever, like, release the Harrow class, the Harrow class, a Dreadnought. Then we will definitely trade the Ardent for that. It'll be, like, that'll be our, our flagship of our fleet. And if, and if we can save up enough CPs, we'll definitely grab a couple of them motherfuckers, yo. What is the fucking time in game? See, I like this. I like the fact that like time of day matters. Oh, this time of day, like these are the places you can go. You know, like this time of day, well, you, you kind of have to go here. Like the only thing that I I'm not a huge fan of as far as the time thing is that Weird, like it made like but so before is burger shop was open during the day, roosters was the evening, right? But now with the second burger shop location, I feel like roosters rest should be able to open. Well, they should have another roosters location that's open during the fucking day. You know. Like, so, oh, well, like, okay, like, maybe Polito is, is the answer there, you know? Maybe the day market. I mean, oh, that's going to take business away from the night markets. So I don't really know. But I just feel like, you know, even though we will always go to um, Burger Shot, because we will always go to Burger Shot because we prefer burgers. You know, 
Um, the only time that we go into thing is if we're if we need the ramen or the, the tea for anything in particular, which you know, as we're done with the uh, shit, the grindy jobs, and we're we're sticking with the new thing that we like. I think that's you know that's the deal. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, you too, man. You too. Yo, can I have a murder mail, please, my good friend? Oh, 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 oh. Alright, my lover! Oh, right, my lover. How are you doing, my lover? Right there, I'm doing alright, my lover. I'm doing alright, you know? Right, there you go. You doing, I'm doing good, man. How are you? Yeah, man. Well, you know. Your boy here just finished his third day of um, helicopter training. Oh, how much did you pay for that? Um, it was... I think it was 20k before tax. My Virginia. And then, that yeah, well that's just for the lessons. The license itself is going to be like an additional four grand. So, you know. But hey, you know, it's, it's not too bad. Hey, do you know what? Listen. It gets worse because, like, I'm going to save up for fixed wing next, which is 35. I think it's like 30 or 35 before tax. So that's that's what we're going for next. Oh Fuck God. it. I Listen, I'm not a car person. You know, like, all I have is my, my cheap suit. Like, you know, and I, I come to burger shop for my meals. You know, like, like, you can't take it with you, though, right? You know? Yeah, exactly. If you're going to die, you might as well die in a single blade like fireball that you have no hope of surviving with that. Listen, listen, if I if I'm gonna go, like, that's the way. Like Yeah, I couldn't think of anything better than falling from the sky knowing that I'm absolutely fucked, you know. Listen, go out the way I came in, kicking and fucking screaming, you know? Oh, you know, listen. Oh god. Nah, I've got it, thanks. Is there a um, is there a trash can anywhere near? I've got a load of or actually have you got a recyclable I have all these old yeah, burger shop mirror right mills. Uh, can I put my recyclables in there? Because I got a bunch of old burger shop uh, murder mill boxes. Yeah, that's good. Because you know, you know. Well, yeah, I, I don't want to trash them. I want to, you know, save the environment a little bit. You know. Yeah. What What I tend to do is go outside Rooster's Rest and just fuck them everywhere, man. You know, like just fuck them all on the floor, by the door, by the stairs, on the stairs, on the railing. Well, I mean, between lights everywhere. between you and me, if I was going to go at Rooster's Rest, I'd drop a turd in each of them. Uh, just letting you know. Hell yeah. See you later. Peace. See you later, bro. <laughs> drop a ginormous deuce in it. Fucking yeah, baby. That's funny. That was the one we got, right? Yeah. Fuck me, dude. What the fuck? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Let's eat the fries. Nom 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 nom. Really hungry.
No, we drink. But he is alcoholic. We don't get drunk. Safety first, mother truckers. So now it's to the news place. Oh, we're just we're going to haze. We are pissed off that people keep hitting and fucking running us. Like it's it's annoying. It's it's actually very annoying. It like it fucks me off actually. And maybe we should actually look for a motorcycle. Maybe a motorcycle is the way forward. I mean, we're gonna get murdered on it. We're absolutely gonna get fucking murdered. But I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's the fucking thing, you know? I don't know. Murder sucks is gonna be expensive as fuck though. Cause we wanna we don't wanna get like a fucking Sanchez. Or anything bollocks, do we? We wanna get like a bollocks tier fucking motorcycle. We wanna get something that's like decent. I'm in a bad mood, but it's not your fault. Well, fuck. Spill it on me. So basically, like, I'm, you know, like, I'm one of those people that I like to drive responsibly. Like, I, I stop at all of the red lights, I follow the speed limit, and that's fine. But, like, I'm stopped at a red light, and then, you know, it turns green, I start to pull off, 
and then I get T-boned by some cunt going 150 fucking miles an hour. And then I flip 15 feet in the fucking air. How the fuck does this van? Shit, they keep going. And how the fuck did, how, like, for you to hit this van and it flip literally 15 feet up in the air and do, like, fucking rotations. How fast do you have to fucking hit it? Come on, dude. I'm so pissed off with the shit. Fuck. That happened to me the other day, too. It happened to somebody pulling out of here, too. Did they didn't stop? No, they didn't stop. I, listen, I even, like, I wasn't, like, seriously hurt. But, you know, I, I even went to the hospital, you know, because I was worried that maybe I had, you know... You know, maybe I was slightly injured, you know, maybe cracked ripped or something, you know, yeah, but... Yeah, seriously. Like, nobody gives a fuck. No. Like, I get, listen, I get that everyone's in a rush, right? I get that. I get that I do drive like, you know, I'm a 70-year-old lady in Florida. I get that, okay? But, you know, it's, it's just frustrating that, you know... I hate I'm, tr I'm trying to obey the speed, the, like, traffic laws and just... Cunts plowing to me at like ridiculous fucking speeds, and then yeah, they they just fuck off, and it's like, oh gee, thanks, and that's gonna cost me, you know, a whole bunch of money, you know, because you're probably in a stolen ass vehicle and you don't give a shit anyway. I'm oh, just venting. I apologize. Hey, that's what you're here for. That's why I said spill it. Yeah, no, it's, no it's worries. Just... No worries, Gary. No worries. I I see. I I didn't realize this was a, a therapy session. I, I do feel. I, I, I do actually feel a little bit lighter. I, I, I appreciate you, man. Well, there you go. Uh, it was around 700 because of the one part across the board. I brought it down with a little labor discount to 555. Sound good? Yeah, just, yeah, hit me, dude. I appreciate it, you know. Sounds almost as angry as me. Fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Does Colt need a hug? Hey. Tell me you heard her last comment. No, oh, what'd she say? <laughs> I'm gonna go to Harmony then. <laughs> Good! <laughs> I was like, what are you gonna tell them? They kicked me out for jumping on their cars. I'm not gonna go there anymore. Okay. Yeah, no, you got, you got no fucking respect. You're gonna jump on my goddamn car. Boy, walk your ass to Harmony. Yeah, jump on their cars. <sighs> Not alone, Gary. No, I'm not. I... Although I think a, a more appropriate reaction is I didn't come to your place of work and knock the sailor's cocks out of your mouth. But you know, like that works as well. That would actually be very good. Right, you see everything. A little more atmospheric. All right, Gary, you're all set. Well, I, I don't know if you want to. I don't know if you want to see everything. There was there was a shooting last time I was here. True, true. You're near. Like you are maybe like a point zero off the showroom. You're looking good now. Oh. Oh, that there's a there's a dead person. I forgot that there was a dead person there. That was bad. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Pleasure as always. Parker, yeah, no, I definitely will. Thanks.
Okay, we good. Let's go part this motherfucker. If I swear to God, if I get fucking slammed into, I am gonna lose my fucking shit. so close I feel it in my fingers I like the news thing. I really do like the news thing, but it's just, it's not really getting me the kind of, especially not the way we drive. I don't think this is actually the path that we need to take. Like maybe what we need to do, to be fair, we still got to get known regardless. So like we can't, like I'd love to get a job of Airx. Um, you know, not as an instructor, because again, it just, even though I have flown f fucking hundreds, possibly even thousands of fucking hours in fucking GTA, I don't think that our character is, you know, like technically my, my, my character's like flown three fucking times, you know? Like we want to take this, all this OOC knowledge that we have and OOC ability that we have, and we definitely don't want to transfer that directly to Gary Sexton. Like, versions of Sexton have flown in the past. Like, we've flown air units. Like, we've been an Air One pilot on, like, most servers that we've been on. But, you know, that was one part of the character that I didn't like. And so, as a result, we removed it. We, we just removed that part of the character. Um, I I didn't feel it was... I didn't want him to be... I didn't want Sexton to be like this super cop. That if we put all of our accomplishments on, he definitely would have been. Right? We I didn't want him to be like, Oh, I'm flight certified. I'm mo certified. I'm interceptor certified. I'm AR certified. I have all of these certifications. I've done all of these things. I didn't want that. Like that was definitely didn't want to do like because then like there comes a point where it just seems But yeah, we definitely definitely didn't want to be some sort of like fucking like super cop. So that's that's why we definitely skipped out on 
like some of our experience because we want us to be like as realistic as we possibly can have it you know and and having a super cop who's done everything that just that definitely lacks even he's a deep even though he's like Sexton is a deep fleshed out character with like 10 well with you know coming up on 10 years like experience and backstory like we definitely don't want him to come across as just like some sort of like robo super cop and like people think and then, oh well this is all made up there's no way that this person could possibly have had such a distinguished career you know we like this <laughs> we kind of needed to embellish but embellish in the opposite direction you know, it's like, hey, you know, we, we totally haven't done this. So, the problem is, is when you tell somebody in character that you haven't flown before, you know, they're not, they obviously assume that you haven't flown before. You know, and then they use... Ah! So yeah, I think that was, it was very important for us to, we should probably go get some, let's go get some fuel at Clinton, and then, yeah, 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 we'll, we'll go get some, go get some fuel at Clinton, then we will head to the bank, pick up our paycheck, and then we're basically good for the rest of the day, we will just, I, I really want to, I really want to put you to a job to, I really want to, to, but to be fair, a bank job down down here would be better, you know. But these these usually take like hours to set up. Like I see, you know, breaking and entering. Cool. Where the fuck? Don't be down here. Don't be down there. Hey, if you want to go round me, you can. No, yeah, you're in the wrong fucking lane anyway. You're actually in the wrong fucking lane. Oh, there we go, green. Oh, green. Uh, so, we're speeding. Mm. Technically, that was running a red light. Technically. Which is unfortunate integrity. That's gonna be an amber. I don't know what this means. I don't know what that that fucking thing means. Maybe it means like poor fucking internet connection or some bollocks. Are you alright? I'm alright, man. Sorry about your yeah, car, man. Yeah, maybe I'm stop sorry. driving like a jackass. Thanks. Fucking dickheads. So, 
so yeah, I feel like I think I think I think they definitely need a different tact. Like doing this. Um like I'm I'm not sure that the tact the path that we're on is the right path. But it is it is a path nonetheless. Like now is I think it's just poor timing, honestly. I feel like if we'd have if we'd have got in when we originally applied instead of like quitting like a pussy, uh, which I absolutely fucking one hundred percent motherfucking did. I, I I put in an app, I failed it, and I just I couldn't be fucking arsed. So I was like, no, piece it, fuck it, who cares? I feel like if we'd have put in our app and like worked on it the first time, then I think right now we'd probably we'd maybe in a better spot. To like make it into the police force, maybe. I mean, it's listen. It's still debatable. Is the fact like I don't know for certain if that would be the case, but like it's definitely worth a try. You know, I I feel like the way the spot that we're in now is the most unfortunate because yes. Again, out of character, we know. Fuck, man. Are you serious? Like, we know that. I'm getting deja vu here. But anyway, um, we know for a fact that they are desperate for fucking cops. Like, absolutely desperate. But we're just. We're not in a position. Uh, like profile wise to actually like capitalize on it which again unfortunate but that's the why do I have such deja vu fucking weird I don't think this is ever going to happen. But you know what? If it doesn't happen, you know. Again, the way that I look at it with like my knowledge, and it's, it's quite arrogant to, to say that, is that's a them problem. You know, like I know what I can do. I, I feel... Like I'd be an addition, but there's there's no way that I can convince it. Cause you know, like in the grand scheme of things, I'm a fucking nobody. You know, like I'm an actual fucking nobody. Where do I see fucking breaking and entering? Is it ever seen fucking spawn? Jesus Christ! What is the shots fired to? Which we're we might go to if we're super fucking bored. day. No. Fuck off. I fucking hate everybody. Oh, that's 100% a crim car. Right? Like, absolutely. <sighs> like, we thought this would be the best. Maybe... Maybe we skip the news. Nancy Ree. I don't know who the fuck any of these people are. Can't vote anywhere yet, dick fuck. We're not even at that, that point. And I wanna I wanna see what people are gonna do 
for me, yo. That is a terrible. That's a terrible fucking intersection. Why would the GPS come? See, this is what GPS is. The GPS is shit. I like, I like, I, I really think that, like, out of character, I think that Abdul's, like, it's going to be terrible for bicyclists, for cyclists, right? People who are new to the city. Like, it's, like, it sucks for them, but also it, it doesn't. Like, I can understand why a taxi driver would hate bicycles for the obvious reason that they're, they're stealing his business, right? But, at the same point... It's also robbing those people of RP. Bicycles are a blight for RP, for taxi drivers. Because the taxi drivers, they, like, they're the people that you want to meet, right? They're, they're the people that, you know, and it's something that Nancy in RP First did very well. Like, obviously she was part, she was like one of the leaders of a, a criminal cartel, right? Um, but one thing you do is she she give free rides to like new people and then sort of like you know show them around and give this friendly very friendly exterior and then you know they kind of feel indebted and she sort of ingratiate herself to them and then end up you know sort of using them and sort of like learning stuff because you know doing crime is is more than. Doing crime is more than just, like, doing... Being a criminal is more than just doing crime, right? It's... It's being, like... Insidious. With your... You know? Like, and, and that's... It's very, very insidious. Like, the stuff that, that she was doing. And I, and I think that that definitely works... Out well. For a taxi... I think there's a real... A real, I think that's really good actually for RP. I think for RP it makes a lot of fucking sense. Wait, did I get a wrong way down a one-way street? Is that what fucking happened there? I don't know. I just one up here as well. Which we need for motherfucking C. You know, and obviously, you know, if, if we knew better, you know, like, we, we will not, like, I don't think any, I, I could make a character that would be that, that insidious. Do you know, maybe it makes sense, but I'm not sure. I, I don't think it makes sense here because... Like, Abdul's, like, Abdul's taxi are, like, they're the big one, right? They're, like, the big business. And if you were, like, now to start, I think, starting a rival taxi company, I think you're automatically at a disadvantage just because of, like, how big and how good our, um, you know, Abdul's streams are, you know? Like, like, how much of a, like, lovable sort of character he plays. And also the fact that he's such a nice guy, you know, I think that, that that automatically puts anybody at sort of a disadvantage if you want to make a a rival sort of taxi. However, the the flip side of that is luxury. Like like, like concierge. I think I think that like, you know, having drivers I'm not sure it works currently with the the no pixel like the economy, right? Cause if you're if you're wealthy, then you would just buy a nice car, right? But if you want to give the illusion Maybe that's maybe that's the sort of the clientele that you're you're really appealing for is you know, you want the illusion of being wealthy while, you know, maybe, you know, maybe being a, a, a more budget option than, it's a more budget option than purchasing 
a car outright, and that would be, you know, to to get a driver to drive around. And I think I don't know. I think that has potential. I just I don't think it works on no pixel because just the the economy is just the way it is. And, I, and I'm not saying the economy is bad because it's absolutely not. The economy is fantastic. You know, it's difficult to do. It's difficult to do anything. You know, you need money, so you have to do the jobs. You know, I like. I feel like the with the. I think if you put any other economy on no pixel, I think no pixel becomes broken, right? I think it just doesn't work because you know so like for our flight lessons right it's it's 20 for it's like was it 24 plus tax right 24,000 plus tax like that is on no pixel that's a substantial amount of money right as it as it would be in real life it's a substantial amount of money that's a amount of money. However, in any other server, twenty-four thousand. What the fuck, dude? That's nothing, dude. Twenty-four thousand. So either I think like hello. Here we go. Any cat people about? What the fuck? I don't see. I don't think this should be allowed. Hello, Mr. Johnson. Can I have my paycheck, please? Where's that? Oh, thanks, you cheap cunt. Uh. You know, it just. Okay, so that has to be... We'll go here. Mining is the other side. Oh, my fucking tail light. Fuck's sakes.
gunshot reported. Very clear scene. Okay, how far out into the county is it? I mean, interesting. Jerks, all of them. Uh, we could probably head up that way. There's nothing else really going in there, and we might lock out, and it might be a setup for a Palito job. Could be interesting. Like they might have. Like shot for they might have killed a local to to steal their their vehicle, you know. I don't really like the city. Like the the city itself is kind of meh, you know. Like you know, there's lots going on. There's always lots popping off, but I don't just. I don't know, you know, I, I'm not sure that it is, I think the county, like, I think the county is more interesting, you know, because yeah, well, on the surface, there's, there's not a lot out there, like, that's the exact reason that I kind of want to, get the fuck. But yeah, that's part of the reason that I want to sort of go out there is because, you know, I feel there's a lot more, like, sneaky shit popping off, you know, like, there's always, like, a lot of the gunshots you have that aren't in the city, well, I mean, that's all of the gunshots aren't in the city, or aren't in the county, for fuck's sake, so well, sure, why not? You know, other than, like, the gang violence stuff, like, you know, like, the, I feel like all of the insidious, is that word again, insidious, I feel like all of the insidious fucking, like, gunshots are, you know, all related to sort of more serious crime, because, again, crims now, the cops don't, Like the crims, not because a lot of the big crims, 
obviously they, they play cops right now so like that they, they know that you know very few cops actually spend time out in the county you know like Clarkson probably spends time out in the county you know but I don't know I just feel like not many cops really spend time outside the city because the city is like the hub of where like most of the shit is going on you know but given the fucking choice whenever I had a choice I love patrol in a fucking county dude like county's amazing such a vast area, you know, like, the thing is, if you're patrolling the city, right, like, here's the thing, right, is, okay, so you got, like, you got, this is the city, but, like, the county is just way huger, it's way more bigger, it's dumb, but, like, the county's bigger, right, it just, it is, and, you know, if, if it's a slow day and you're patrolling, there's only so many times that you can sort of, like, you know, patrol round before you get bored and you've, you've seen everything the city has to offer. Whereas up in the county, like, you can do more... You could definitely do, like, there's, like, chance for, like, speed traps. You could do speed traps up in the county, you know? But you could just... You could patrol around. And, you know, like... And the thing is, there's stuff that you can do that's legal up in the the county you could go spend a bunch of time at the the farmers market it's so like now if I was a cop right now right you know like I'd be you know I'd head to these these gunshots because I'd already be out in the county you know I had these gunshots you know see what's going on once that scene's clear then well like what's the time let's let's go up in let's go check on the people in the fishing spot okay Boom, everyone's okay in a fishing spot. Might be a visual deterrent. Do your thing. Boom, presence. Automatically force escalation. Is you got your, pre your officer presence. You know, because you, 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 know, you want to get these, these officers in places where they're seen so that you deter crime from happening, you know? Obviously. Then... More gunshots. Oh, that's like behind us now. You know, but yeah, you could go head up to the, the fishing spot. You know, maybe follow, you know, some fishermen down to the fishing spot. You know, check licenses and all of that shit. You knows. Oh, for fuck's sake, more asteroid damage. Are you fucking serious, bro? Go check licenses. Okay, we've done licenses. Done there. Okay, now let's go. Just go check hunters. You know, let's go go up in the hunter spot. Let's make sure that everyone's being, you know, all nice and, you know, respectful in the ban laws. There, perfect. Okay, what we can do now. Well, now we can go on a another little patrol lead around. You know. You know, maybe maybe run a, another speed trap. Maybe run a speed trap. You know, maybe you know maybe there's another call out in the, the city. You know, maybe you can be in a position where you can get a unit to Polito. Fucking jackasses, man. You know, there's just there, there's lots to do. Like, fuck this road, dude. Like, it, especially if you're patrol. Well, fucking locals. I swear to fucking God. I'm gonna murder all of you. It's factually inaccurate.
you know that that guy yesterday that they were interviewing with the um, they killed locals and like at their fucking hearts. You know, like I love the RP. I think the RP is great. But you know, if he could like maybe kill a few more of these fucking locals and like eat their hearts because fuck man, they're all terrible fucking drivers. You know, they're all of them. They're bad. Wait, have we missed this? We're so, oh, we're so slow that we literally missed it. Fuck. So I came up here and got my car fucked up for no fucking reason. Okay, so we've got about an hour left, probably, of streaming, you know, but, uh, we might go see if there's a judge down. the 311 and fucking yellow pages thing almost fucked me. I'm gonna need to get ta I'm gonna need to test myself on this. Okay. Shit, what are we doing? So first thing, visual inspection. Get in the aircraft. Check fuel. 311. Adding yellow pages. Maybe adding yellow pages then 311. It's kind of interchangeable really okay next thing is fly you know refuel if you need to fly wherever you need to do do your thing touchdown aircraft off 311 delete add so it's add 311 311 delete add that's definitely what we need to do. Why the fuck? They, it's like, they, what? I hate locals. I really hate them. Start my fucking life, dude. Getting fucked by locals. Send an atmosphere. Thank you. Now let's ascend to orbit. What's this?
<sighs> Bollocks. Ugh, what a day, dude. A fucking day. That's fucking Kiki. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That's not Kiki. Definitely not Kiki. Oops.
Okay. There's always a problem with this bike. Can you please fix it? So yeah, that is the thing. But like, so I, it doesn't. So it doesn't pay as much if you just grind in the jobs, right? But that's fine because. Oh. Are you alright? Fucking again, dude. All the fucking time. Ugh. I was gonna wait for the fucking extra goddamn hour. But. It's only 30 minutes, and I know the second I go off, <sighs> break rubber anyway, so we're probably done now, to be fair, and besides, my, my toe really hurts, so, yeah. Upload this to my YouTube where all of my no pixel vods can be found. Even some that I never streamed that I just locally recorded. You know, there are definitely some on there that that's the only way that you get to, to see them. Can we talk real quick? Oh my god. 
okay, I, I can do that. Fucking funny, dude. That's funny. Literally, literally less. Like, just over 12 hours, man. Well, I mean, what, what are we looking at? It's like, with 12. So, like, yeah, 14 hours after, like, fucking Coil went and said, listen fucking no cunt I don't want to see any like people rolling more than two in a car there's fucking three cops in that fucking trooper car I mean I get it's a trooper the, the rules don't apply to them obviously but you know it is what it is quit oh we should have gone that's nah, fucking fine fuck it who gives a shit thanks everybody for not talking appreciate it it's gonna go on my YouTube so peace